this dish could not be easier or quicker. And so we start by taking a saucepan and boil a kettle of water ready. And into the pan we want to drop our frozen garden peas. Normally you use marifat peas, but garden peas are a little bit sweeter. Once your peas are in the pan, we want to pour over a kettle of boiling water. Make sure you fully cover the peas. Once you've done this, pop the heat up to high and we want to bring them back up to a simmer. And once they come up to a simmer, give the peas a stir and just leave them for a minute or two and you'll see the peas start rising to the surface of the water. At this point, using a sieve, drain off the water from our peas and chuck them back into the same saucepan. Return the saucepan to the hob and pop the heat on medium. Drop in a nice knob of butter and season with sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Start by giving the peas a good stir through until the butter has completely melted and then we want to give them a really good mashing. Start by mashing them fairly coarsely and at this point we want to add a tablespoon or two of our double cream. Give the peas another really good stir and another good mashing up with your masher. And then we just want to give them a try and if needs be chuck in another little knob of butter and a little more cream. Stir away and give them another mashing if you wish. Get them to the consistency that you like and when you're happy we're ready to serve. I often serve my mushy peas with traditional fish and chips, a good meat pie and mash, or a roast. These fancy mushy peas are surprisingly versatile and unbelievably tasty guys.